everybody. I uh, just got my bike back from Bison Thunder. I stopped in there this morning to have them install my heated grips. They finally came in that were on back order for the last month and a half. Well, I can say that I've never been in this part of the Twin Cities. I don't know where this GPS has taken me. I don't know why it brought me off of the interstate. But I figure, why not? Let's give it a try. Got a little time to kill. It's a really, turning out to be a really nice sunny day. Warm. It's almost 11 a.m. and it's 56 degrees outside and sunny. So today I think I'll give you guys my 1,000 mile review for my Challenger Dark Horse. I have uh, 1,011 miles as of right now and I've been uh, really lucky that I haven't experienced any issues like some other people have with their bikes. I had my Challenger uh, checked for the throttle body issue. My throttle body is, uh, they're perfectly in sync. So I haven't had any problems there. Um, let's see here, what else? Yeah, I, I guess I really haven't uh, had any problems. Both the biggest negative, I guess, that I can think of right now is um, this GPS. I mean, the, the GPS works. Uh, it's pretty quick. But it does have some little odd quirks to it. So, the other day when I went for a ride, I ended up missing one of my exits because I wasn't paying attention and I was just enjoying my ride. So I turned around to go back to the road that I wanted to be on. And instead of the GPS bringing me back, to the road where I wanted to be at it recalculated a whole new route that brought me way off course on some crazy side roads kind of like it's doing right now except I didn't miss <laughs> any turns I just told it where I wanted to go and instead of taking me kind of on the highway, as you can see, it's bringing me right through the middle of, I don't even know where the heck I am here, some little suburb of the Twin Cities. And, okay, well, it's kind of cool exploring new areas, but at the same time, it's just really strange that it would pick this particular way to get back when I was already pretty much on the highway. Could have jumped to the interstate and said, I'm zigzagging through all these suburb neighborhoods. It just likes to pick really strange routes. And here we go. Oh, 
god, I can't get enough of that. You get on it, this thing moves. It does not feel like an 800 plus pound bagger. the only thing that I found that's been a little annoying is the GPS it's just a little uh, funny in the routes that it decides to take but other than that I mean it's the whole computer system screen here is it's very easy to use it's very intuitive could it be improved on sure but what well, thing can't uh, be improved on? Uh, other than that, man, I, I love this power adjustable windscreen. I never really thought that I would use it very much. And I do. I mean, it's it's nice being able to, to drop it down when you're tooling around lower speeds. And then when you hop on the highway or interstate, it's like magic. That thing raises up and blocks all that wind and wind noise. So I'm really loving that. Now what else can I say? So the uh, tab performance exhaust, the zombie exhaust, I love it. I love the sound of it. I love the uh, volume level of it. When you get on it, it has a nice little bark. When you're just cruising, it has a nice tone. But it's not too loud or annoying. So I do have uh, the tap performance cat delete coming and my cat delete is going to be the two to one to two so hopefully that'll maintain some of that back pressure because uh, apparently you do lose some back pressure with that two to one and you're gonna have to try and change out the baffles or do something to get a little of that back pressure back into your exhaust so you don't lose power so I'll have that come in. I'm hoping that ships out in a couple weeks here and I'm gonna do a full install uh, video and a sound comparison for you guys. Because I know it's gonna make my bike louder. Uh, <laughs> we found that out with Riding Fish's Challenger when he put the two to one cat delete in. And that thing had a raspy snarl to it. Uh, and was a good bit louder too. So, yeah, last week I had my bike in for the 500 mile service inspection. That's where they checked uh, my throttle body alignment and stuff. Apparently both my throttle bodies were exactly the same. Now I've taken the bike for a couple longer rides. Uh, one ride that was over 300 miles another ride if you guys have been watching 280 mile uh, trip with riding fish and some other friends and this challenger is comfortable the seat is really comfortable the handlebar uh, level and width and everything it's just it seems perfect for me so i like these bars i like the stock bars i think they look good they're really comfortable so I don't have any plans right now 
to change those. Uh, I just got my heated grips installed and I have not tried them yet. We'll try them here uh, on my ride home. I don't really need it because it's warmed up quite a bit now. <laughs> well, <laughs> to me it feels really warm. It, my, my bike says it's 54 degrees out right now, which to probably a lot of you is really cold. But uh, living in Minnesota, after a long six month winter, 54 degrees and sunshine, it feels nice out. So to get to the heated grips, you go in here, heated grips, we'll turn it on. I think there's 10 levels or so for these heated grips. As you can see, you got your rain mode, your standard mode, and your sport mode, your uh, display brightness, and auto bright. And then now the heated grips, the heated grips are uh, on there, traction control. So I just turned the heated grips on, as you saw, and I can already feel the heat. <laughs> I can already feel the heat on my grips. See the grips are getting hot. I only put it to three. And they are warm. All right. We'll turn those back off. <laughs> they got really warm really quick. That is going to be really nice. The other day when I rode down to Bison Thunder in St. Paul last week, it was 22 degrees outside, and I had a six, I got a 60 mile ride to Bison. So 60 miles when it's 22 degrees, I was uh, kind of wishing I had those heated grips installed. A lot of guys are wondering about aftermarket speakers to upgrade uh, from the stock. Indian audio. I don't know if you need any aftermarket speakers for this. Now this upgraded audio, Power Plus audio, is a, a 400 watt total system, 100 watts for each speaker. And let me tell you, this thing is crazy. It is so clear and so loud. Even at higher speeds, interstate speeds, with the wind and all, I can turn my radio on level two and hear my music clear as day at level two. And this system goes to level 11. 11! That's, that's absolutely crazy. I don't know if I'll ever need level six I mean I, I've turned it up to level three when I'm on the highway and it's a party I mean I've, I have zero complaints about the audio system I think it's phenomenal I mean if, if you love music it is worth the extra money to upgrade so I am extremely happy with it I don't think I'll ever have any need to go aftermarket speakers uh, for this bike because Indian did such a phenomenal job with their uh, speaker package 
So that's about it for my update for my thousand mile review. The power on this bike is phenomenal. The comfort on this bike is phenomenal. The, the storage capacity in the bags is great. I'm, I'm loving having the uh, extra storage. I just got the sissy bar for my bike, uh, the quick detach uh, sissy bar with the luggage rack on it. So I can't wait to use that. That's going to come in really handy for long rides, being able to strap bags onto my passenger seat and uh, put some stuff on that luggage rack, some tents and, and whatnot for camping trips and long cross-country road trips, etc. Uh, so I'm really happy with that uh, sissy bar that finally came in. The last, the last part that I'm waiting for my bike is the front engine guards. Those are still on back order. I got my rear ones, my rear uh, saddlebag guards or whatever you call them. I got those. I got those uh, put on and installed. That was uh, that was really easy. I'm working on a lot of video for you guys. I have a ton of video recorded. I'm sorry, it just takes me a while to uh, to edit it. I'm new to editing video. Um, I got a new video editing program that I'm trying to learn at the same time. So just kind of bear with me. I'll put out videos as quick as I can, but I'm also finishing up uh, my last class for college. And between working full time and school full time with uh, finishing up my class here, I'm pretty busy. Uh, I'm still going to try and get out a video for you guys on a fairly regular basis. If you guys have any questions, please let me know, leave a comment. I try to respond uh, to everyone as soon as I, as soon as I can. And uh, I'd be happy, more than happy to answer your questions or if you have any ideas for videos, stuff that you want to see me do with the bike or uh, videos about the bike, well, let me know and I'll try to do it for you. Also, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Bison Thunder in St. Paul, Minnesota. They have been a phenomenal dealership to work with. Uh, they gave me a great deal on my bike. They worked really hard to give me the best deal possible. Uh, all the guys there are really, really nice. So I just want to give them a big shout out. If you guys are interested in a new or used motorcycle, please check them out. They are one of the top, if not the top, Indian dealership in the country. Uh, and there's a reason why. I mean, I don't think anybody will work harder to put you on a bike and give you the best deal possible and give you the best service. Uh, please like my video if you enjoy my content. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I really appreciate it. Uh, I, I was really happy. I, I hit 60 subscribers uh, a couple days ago. And I know compared to many people, that's that's not many. But I appreciate everybody that subscribes because I, I do put a lot of effort into uh, recording video and editing video to make it as best as I can. And I'll get better as I get uh, get more experience with editing and using this new editing program that I got just so I can make better videos.